Hello and welcome to this new video where we're going to go through the uh, system to uh, iterate through multiple pages in Tkinter. Uh, that was the next step in my project about a password manager that I wanted to create and I remember that this was the bit that took me the longest to understand so that I really could do it correctly and not just copy it from a website and I wanted to dig back into that and share it uh, in my humble way. So you've got two ways of creating multiple pages that you can use in your Tkinter GUI. The first one is it would be to create the page you need and then destroy it when you don't need it and go create the new page. So this is um, something that's built in, like you can destroy page, create page all the time. Uh, but I didn't go through that route because I found another way that I really enjoyed for all the concepts you had to go through and that was the build every pages and then raise the page that you need over the other pages so they're all layered at every point and then you're gonna raise them okay and this is what we're gonna do today so I imported tkinter as tk and then we're gonna go and create our base work which is gonna be first a class mainframe which is gonna take the properties of a TK object. Why? Well because this is gonna be our main frame so it's gonna be the frame object holding all of our different pages. It's also going to be the controller of my pages setting up the ID uh, and functions okay and for that it has to take any kind of arguments into it and so uh, what we're gonna do is create the init method which is going to take you guessed it args and quags arguments something we talked about a little before on that channel and something I don't feel uh, good enough to uh, explain to you in details unless I work into that a little more. Then I use the init method of the TK object to um, actually link it so at self, args and quags I'm not going to go too deep into what we're doing here, um, but just saying that uh, we we just want like all the the arguments going in our mainframe class should also be relevant for the TK object that is above the mainframe class, like the the, the parent object. So maybe dig into this. Uh, you can also dig into the super super method. Uh, for our function that is uh, in the same vibe as this. Uh, then I'm going to set uh, a font object just to showcase some uh, uh, things we're going to do later on. So the title font is going to be equal to tk font dot font and it's going to be family equals to I don't know let's say Verdana maybe uh, size I remember using using uh, 12 and then the weight is gonna be equal to bold because it's, it's a title I guess and slant let's say uh, Roman I remember using that and this is gonna be our reference for fonts so that we can have a title and a button and just have like two pages that we can go back and forth from. Um, then we're gonna create a variable that's the container and what's that variable? It's gonna be a frame object that we're creating in our main frame class okay so in the init we're creating a frame that we're calling the container. Why is that? Well, because what you're going to be creating is a frame that's going to be holding all your pages in, so it's containing them basically. 
and then container dot grid and we're going to place it uh, in row zero and column zero with a sticky of zu <laughs> which is basically like you know all your cardinal points like north east south west using that just means in ticking to that it's going to be stretching out in every direction to fill in the blank spaces you want to do that with your frame and all your pages so that this way when we build them in uh, in a layer of the in each page as a layer of that main frame they're all going to stretch out together and you're never going to have one that's more than the other showing off and something like that so you want them all to be fitting the exact same space which is the container frame So that's it for this and then we're going to create the self.id which is supposed to be the id of the user we're going to have in our later uh, project which is going to be a tk.string var. Uh, so I guess you know that if you've been learning uh, tkinter just remember that in tkinter if you have a variable used especially in your entry boxes and stuff like that you need to associate them to an object of tkinter which is a string var or an, uh, the other kinds like how you could have a, a tk dot uh, int var I think yeah int var that's it okay uh, and then we're gonna set this id as uh, Mr. Smith okay but what we could do is that uh, if you have a login page, the login page could be helping setting this self.id, okay? And we might see later on how that works. Then we're going to create a list, self.listing. I'm just calling it like that because I don't want to conflict with any kind of uh, Python argument uh, or, or function like list. And we're going to create it as an empty dictionary, okay? So what's the point of this listing object? It's going to be holding two arguments that we're going to feed it uh, later on. And it's going to be the name of our pages. So like, for example, welcome page. Okay. And then associate it to the, um, you know, like object page thing that you're going to get when you run your, your class. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. And then uh, we're going to create a loop. So this loop is going to feed the listing we just created. So let's go for that. For p for page in, I'm just going to create a basic set of the pages I want to use in that example. You could do uh, and use a variable for that if you have more pages, but here it's going to be pretty basic. And we're going to create welcome page and page one. Okay. Those are the two classes we're going to be creating later on. So what are those two things? It's the class welcome page that I want to build later and the class page one. You're not calling an object. You're not calling the string. No, you're just calling the, the class itself. Why is that? Because you're going to loop through it. And as you're doing it, you're going to take two things. First, I'm going to create a variable page name which is going to take our p object, so first welcome page and page one and all the other pages that you're going to go through, and we're going to take its method underscore underscore name. So I believe this is called a dunder method, and what that does is basically go into your class object and take the name that's saved with it. And so here the name is welcome page as a string. Meaning that whatever you're going to put in, in those brackets, you're always going to get the same string function, which is the exact name of your class. Then we're going to create a frame. The frame is going to be equal to P of our parent equal container and our controller equal self. So what are we doing here? We're saying that the, the, our frame is equal to P and P being alternatively the welcome page class and the page one class. So here we're going to create a new object of every class. So, so one class for each page. And what we're going to do is say that its parent, that's going to be an argument of those classes, is going to be the container. So 
the TK frame that we created up there. And the controller of it is going to be self, so it's going to be this iteration of the main frame class. Uh, why are we doing those things? Well, we want the pages to be linked to a parent, the, the container frame, which is saying where it is associated, and the controller is going to be a way for you to use the function of your main frame into your pages later on. Because you couldn't just be linking all of them together and just use the the functions all by all all, all, all by your own. What you're gonna do is call on the controller. So let's make that more clear by keep it, be keeping it on. So grid, obviously, because we want to place it, and we're gonna place it exactly like we play placed uh, the the main frame earlier. Okay, so this, those are going to be exactly the same, completely layered with no distinction. Self.listing. So, uh, and then I'm going to be feeding my dictionary. So here, my self.listing dictionary is going to take first thing the page name variable. And then it's going to take what well the object that we created the frame so just like we saw earlier we're going to feed that dictionary with as a key the page name in a, as a string and we're going you're going to find the frame objects reference and we're done for this for loop so when we start your main frame class we're gonna, you're going to create all those things create your pages stock them in a dictionary and you're going to be ready to use them so uh, because doing that, the last frame that you're going to be building is not the welcome page but the page one. I'm going to tell the function where what I want to see as the f the first page, and so I'm going to uh, call. I'm going to create sorry a function. I'm going to go a, a frame, which is going to take a page name as an argument. Okay. And it's going to go like this, basically. Our page is equal to self.listing, so the dictionary, searching for the key page name. Okay, so here we did it. Sorry, insert key was pressed. Um, so here, yeah, we have not the name of the object, but we're going to take the object itself, that's gonna, that is the page, and we're going to say page.tkarays, like that. So we're using the function raise of tkinter to raise the page that we need. And so what we're going to do, well, basically, oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, this is not going to be a function of uh, def in it, it's going to be a function of the class. Okay, so it's in there. Now that I created this upframe function in with the good indentation, I can then, after I do all the, this loop, I can just do a self dot upframe calling what? Calling my welcome page. So what I'm going to do is iterate through this set, create all my pages, and then in the end call the welcome page as the first one to be showcased. And this is basically my main frame class. But now I want to have pages, like I have two pages to create, the welcome page and the page one. So let's get into it. Um, welcome page. Okay, same thing. And here it's not going to be a TK object is going to be a frame object because obviously it's going to be in our frame and the frame is our parent here. Um, we're going to define the init method which here uh, my bad, is going to be parent and controller which is what we saw up there. We're going to have, we wanted to create this parent and control controller arguments. And then just like we did earlier tk.frame dot init to take back those values, building, 
getting it the parent self and parent arguments. And then our self.controller is going to be equal to the controller. Okay. Self.id equal controller.id. And this is when this controller thing uh, is useful. So by passing as an argument of our welcome page, the main frame, so controller here is just self for the main frame, okay? What you're doing is telling it like to use the main frame object dot id self, so here. Okay? And this is how you could use it, take it, and change it. Okay, and here we're just taking it uh, to make it an object of our welcome page. This is the point of the controller argument that we created. And then creating a label, so tk.label uh, self uh, text is going to be equal to, uh, let's say, welcome page. It's better as a string. Uh, let's go to the line and say um, plus controller dot id dot get. Why? Because I want to get the value of the controller dot id, which is a string var, and the string var is Mr. Smith. Okay, so th that this is where we're at, and then we're gonna pull the uh, font is equal to controller dot title font again what we're doing is taking the self of the class so controller the title font of the mainframe to get back our font in here and this is why uh, we needed to put that argument in there and as usual, don't forget to label that pack your label. In the end, we just need to create the button because obviously, um, my bad, tk dot button, which is gonna gonna be the button to go into the page one. So text equal to page one. This is going to call as a command our function a frame. But there's a problem. If I do just this, uh, page one, okay, so I'm calling the function a frame to my page one. What's going to happen is that um, because there's an argument in there, my upram function is not going to be running as my command function uh, is clicked, my button is clicked. It's going to be running all the time. Uh, that's a problem with those uh, with those buttons. Like I could call uh, something without a variable in it, without an argument. But here I I can't have an argument um, and have a, a, a button that works. And so the, the tip and the tip that I found was to use a lambda function. Uh, which is basically becoming your local function and so because, because of the, its properties you don't have this issue anymore so all you're gonna do is instead is call your controller dot frame page one and uh, you're good okay so this is um, a little complicated, but I think uh, if you study what the lamb lambda function is, it could be interesting for you. I might do something about that, like maybe um, if I need it more, if I want to go back into it, I'll study it and may maybe make a little video about it. Okay, so that's it for the welcome page. So now let's create our page one, and because I'm lazy, I'm just going to do this and then call it page one.
and then self init parent control is same thing we're doing the same thing everywhere and so we're going to change the title to page one label pack button back to main and call it welcome page easy as that and the button will be packed so this sounds like we're good and this is when we're going to try our code. So if name equals main, then we're going to create our app being a main frame and then app done main loop to make our tkinter panel work. And this is the moment of truth. And we've got a bug saying TK font is not defined. What did I do? Oh, I forgot to, uh, an import statement. Import uh, tkinter. No, sorry. Here it's different. I'm going to from tkinter import font as a TK font. My bad. I obviously have a cheat sheet next to me because uh, I don't want this to be too long. So yeah, here it should be working now. And here we have it. Struggling to catch the, the frame. Welcome page Mr. F Mr. Smith to page one. Page one Mr. Smith back to main and I could see that there's a typo here which is very nice to bug anyone that would be visiting that website, uh, right? So here it is, it works. Um, it's a lot of uh, little things like using the, the name of the, of, of the class to, it, to create uh, different pages using a class as an object here. Like it's a lot of details that really made me see uh, my coding differently and helped me step up in all those ways. Uh, next, I want to use this concept into the password manager, which I'm going to be building next time using the uh, SQLite um, video that we saw in this video all together. Uh, that being said, thank you if you stuck all the way through this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.